Reverend Ishmael Moultrie was born enslaved in 1842 on the James Clark Plantation on Edisto Island. Destined to be a great leader, Reverend Moultrie provided stability to the freedmen on Edisto Island during a very chaotic period after the Civil War. Perhaps one of Moultrie's most significant contributions was that in 1865, he was a chairman for the Committee of Freed Men on Edisto Island and helped write a letter to President Andrew Johnson. This letter, which is housed in the National Archives in Washington, D.C., highlighted the deplorable conditions of black people on Edisto Island after the Civil War. The letter that was written was sent to President Johnson to ask about implementing Sherman's Field Order 15, which is also known as 40 acres and a mule. Through hard work and dedication, he became the first minister ordained by the first Negro Presbytery of Catawba in 1866. Over the next three years, he organized churches on Johns Island, Wadmala Island, St. Andrews, Salem, and the St. Paul area. He was briefly the lead minister at the Presbyterian Church on Edisto Island until the white members returned after the Civil War to reclaim their church. Reverend Moultrie then left with the black congregants and built his first church from palmetto trees on Steamboat Landing Road. He became the first pastor of the Edisto Island Colored Presbyterian Church. Reverend Moultrie was also a very respected educator who is credited with starting one of the first schools for black children on Edisto Island, the Central Negro School in 1878 near Steamboat Landing Road. He served as the school's first administrator as well as teacher along with Miss Jane Edwards. He continued to be the lead pastor at the Edisto Presbyterian Church and taught at the Central Negro School until his death in 1892.